Welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff in which we're going to learn Still Loving You by the Scorpions. So first I'm going to play with the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're going to break it down lick by lick, chord by chord, note by note with tabs right here on the screen as usual. So it goes like this, enjoy. quite a song, it's quite an elaborate arrangement, but we're gonna break it down step by step. I'm gonna show you exactly how to play this, but if you're a beginner and you're having trouble with the material on Lick and Riff, I would like to remind you that uh, I recently released a seven hour complete beginner course. It's the ultimate beginner course. It's designed to take you from complete beginner to intermediate. Okay, everything you need from basic chords to basic scales to techniques to more elaborate stuff, okay, to groove, to rhythm, to musical skills, everything is on that course. It's on the Graphy platform and you can find the link in the description. It's called Strike a Chord. Okay, so if you're having trouble with the material on Lick and Ref and you're not yet ready for my more advanced courses, my complete Guitar Freedom course series, which is available on my website, go to the link below uh, and go to the Graphy platform and you'll find my seven hour beginner course, the complete beginner course. Um, I did everything possible to make it the best beginner course for guitar players. It also includes finger style. Everything you need is in that course. Okay, so um, thank you and um, let's begin. You need to put on a D minor shape, but here you need to put it on six. Okay, so it's six, eight, seven. Okay, it's a D minor shape, it's not a D minor chord. Okay, so you take the D minor shape up to six. So you have six, eight, seven on springs one, two, and three, and you play the D bass right at the start. Okay, so uh, you play springs four, one, two, three, and then you take your little finger and put it on eight on the fifth string. Okay, and you play springs five, one, two, three. Okay, and then you bar six, 
Okay, you take your forefinger and you bar the sixth fret and you play strings five, one, two, three again. Right? So this sequence was the open D string, eight on the fifth, and then six on the fifth. Okay? And then you have this. Okay? So it's your little finger again with eight slide to nine, eight six, and then eight on the second string again. So you let go of the chord for a moment and then you put it back on, okay, with the bar. So, okay, and you put the bar back on and you play, okay, the fifth string, strings one, two, and three again, and then eight on the D string, okay, on the fourth. So you can put this shape on, okay, you can put E flat major seven on, which is a bar on six with eight, seven, eight on strings two, three, and four, or you can do what you did before with the D minor shape and bar it and use your little finger just for that last note, okay? It doesn't last long, so even though it's a little bit uncomfortable, Okay, so you have this. Okay, you put on the D minor shape like you did before. You bar. Okay, you just put that finger last. Okay, or. Okay, you put on the whole shape. Okay, but if you do, you need that last eighth on the second string to be the little finger. Okay, because that's the that's inside the shape. So. Okay, with your little finger, you put on the whole chord. Okay, that's why I prefer to put on the previous shape. Okay, and then bar. And just use my little finger for that extra note on the D string. Okay, okay there's nothing wrong about that. It's just a little bit inconvenient. And then you have D7. Okay, so it's the bar on five with, um, you can put on the whole seventh chord shape with seven and seven on strings two and four, or you can just put the seven on the second string because we're not playing the D string. So, okay, just a bar on five with seven on the second string. Okay, that's, uh, that's the way to play this arrangement. You don't put the whole chord all the time. Okay, so, okay, D, okay, F, flat and then you put on and then that little finger or um, little finger and then the chord and then you have D7 then you have the verse the verse is pretty much the easiest part of this arrangement it's a bar on three for G minor you can put on G minor or you can play it as G minor seven, just change just strings two, three, and six, or two, three, four, and six. Okay, you can play the seventh. If you're a stickler and you want the exact, uh, um, the exact harmony of the original song, just play strings two, three, and six. Okay, or put on the whole chord and play the fourth with it. But if you play the if you play the uh, the D string on three. I like the added minor seventh here. If you don't like it, don't play it. So, okay, you have G minor, and then you have five pull after three on the third string, and then you have the chord again, right? And then you have the second string, and then you put six on the first string. You're still with the bar on three, okay? Four times. So, the second string, Okay, six, four times, and then five, three. So it's... And then the second string again. Okay, now I harmonize with the whole chord all the time. Okay, the lower string. Okay, so I play this, and then I play strings one, two, and three. Okay, and then five, three, and then I play the chord again. Okay, the whole thing, not just the second string. That's the sound that I like to produce. You can just play this. Okay, just the second string if you like.
Okay? It's it's also it's perfect. Okay? You don't have to play like I do. And then you have this. You have three on the second string again, and then five, three on the third. So it's you can play the whole chord again, or just the bass, and then you have A. A. Now this is where the background guitar comes in. I like to slide to 10 on the second string. I complete the shape into a D shape, and this is now an A chord. So I play strings one, two, three, one, two. You can play the A bass again. So, uh, sorry. Okay. But the A bass is supposed to be ringing. Okay, it's still ringing, but you can play it again. And then you have two zero on the second, two on the third, and then you have D. And it's the same, exactly the same arpeggio. Okay, so it's strings two or three, and then one, two, three, one, two. That's the verse. Okay, that's that's the verse of the song. G minor for a long, long time. Okay, and then still G minor, A, and then D. Okay, I like to vibrate chords uh, as well. Some people find it annoying, but I like it. Um, now you have the solo. The solo starts with G minor, but we're not gonna play G minor. We're gonna play the G bass with strings three and four. Okay, we're gonna play G5. So it's this, and then two hammer on to three on the, 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 the third string. And then you have this. One on the second string with the F bass one on the bass. So I like to use my thumb for it. It's the fastest movement in my opinion. So, right? Because it's the least movement between the, the two. You don't have to put the whole chord. And then you have this, okay? Three pull off the two on the third string and then you have three again with one on the fourth, okay? It's E flat. So you have G, G minor, G5, and then F, and then the E flat bass. And then, okay, you have two pull off the zero on the third, and then you have, okay, you have two hammer on to three, two with the E flat bass. Okay, and then you play the bass again. It's a borderline bass. It's not really a bass note. Um, and then you have, okay, you have um, on the third string. Everything is on the third. Zero, two, three, and then you have five, three, and then you have five slide to seven with the D string. So if you look at the bass notes, you get it's fairly standard. It's G F. E flat D. Okay. Okay. So it's th that's all that's going on here, and then repeats itself the bass, the chord progression, but with a higher solo. So let's just play this again. You have G five, and then you have F, A flat, and then the bass again. Slide to five as well, and then D, and then you have the bar again on three. Okay, you have the chord again, strings one, two, three, and six. Okay, this is again G minor, and then you have five, six on the first string, and then you have this. Okay, now I play it like this. You don't have to. You can just play the bass. So it's five, six, and then you have eight on strings one and five. I like to add. Six on the second string, just for harmonic purposes. Okay, you can do okay this if you want. Okay, and then just the bass. Okay, whichever sounds fine for you. Um, and then you have okay, 
You have six pull off to five on the first string and then six and six on strings one and five. So it's and then okay, this. You can add the remainder of the chord if you like. Okay, with four on the the second string, and then you have this. Okay, slide to 12 on the third, and then 11 on the second, 13 on the first, and then 15 on the first, and then 11 on the, the, the sixth. Okay, so it's... And then you have this. Okay, you have 13, you pre-bend it, and you play it. And you bend it down, Okay, you unbend it and pull it off to 11, 12 on the th third string, uh, yeah, the third string, and then 13 again on the second string, and then you have D. So, okay, this or, okay, okay you can do it like this or. Okay, just the bass notes. And then you have D. Then you can play the verse again. And then you get to the chorus. The chorus starts with G minor again. Okay, this time it's bass, chord, chord. Okay, or 3-3 three, three on the first frame. And then you have this. Okay. It's the 6-6 six, six on strings 1 and 5 again with the little finger and the third finger. Okay? Because you play 6-5-3 on the first string. So it's... Now you can play the third string with it. Okay? It's a part of the chord. Okay? And then you can play 4 on the third string. Okay? For harmonic... Pur on, the, on the second string. Sorry. Uh, 4 on the second for harmonic purposes. So... Okay, and then you have B flat. Okay, it's one, 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 two, three. Just these strings. Strings one, 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 two, three. Okay, with a B flat chord. Now you can harmonize. You can play. Okay, you can play strings one and two, two and three, three and four. So, and then you have F. Okay. And the main note here is the second string. So I play strings two, three, four, and six, or two, three, and six. Okay, so um, B flat, and then F, and then you do it again. And then. And then you have uh, G minor again. Okay, so it's the bass, and then the second string twice. With the third string harmonizing, or you can even arpeggio before that you can do. Okay, you can add notes of the chord. Uh, you don't need to wait. Okay? Uh, depending on your own style. Okay, every time you can play it different. So C minor. Okay, so it's C minor with four three on the second string and then the th the, the the third string on five. Okay, so it Okay, and then you go to D and you play strings two and three twice. And then you play the bass. Okay, or you can play the bass with the second time. Okay, you can play it with the chord. Um, so it's... Okay, and then you have... Okay, it's back to G minor. It's strings two, 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 one with a D chord. Okay, and then... G minor, and you play the chord first and then the bass. Okay, so it's... Okay, and because it's a bar, it's no problem to immediately play the chord. Um, and then you have this. Um, you need to play the three again on the first string, and then you have... Okay, you have the E flat again with six, uh, five, three on the first string. 
and four on the second. It's the same notes, but it's not the same rhythm. Right? And then you have the four on the second scoring again, and this time you have this. Okay, which is F. So it's a bar on three, but up to the D string. Okay, and you put this. Six on the first, five on the third. So you play six, five, three on springs, one, three, four. And then you turn the six into five on the first string. So you have the F harmony. So it's five on the first string. And then I like to do this. Okay, three, three hammer on to five on both the first and the third string. Okay, and I play the bass with the hammer on. So. Right? And then you have the ending of okay? So it's G minor, but you're not playing it yet. You're putting on the bar, okay? You play three on the second string, six, six, five on the first, and then you do this. Okay? You play the whole chord with six slide to five, three on the first string. Okay, so it's and then, and then you play a sequence of chords, G minor, and then you put on a C shape there for E flat. And then you put a G shape, so you can just put the G head on uh, six and five on strings six and five. Incidentally, uh, and you don't play the first string. That's it. You don't play the first string. You play strings two, three, four, and six. And then you have F again. So you can do it like this. Okay, five, five, three on one, three, and four. And then you get this again. Okay, you're in the same position. So G minor, E flat, G flat, okay, uh, B flat, sorry, B flat. Uh, you can just put the finger on uh, the bass. You don't need to put five on the fifth, actually. And then F. Okay, and then you're back to G minor. And that's it. You just repeat it and you can end on the same line. Okay? okay that's it. It's, it serves as a great ending. Uh, so, download the tab. It's for free. Okay, it's on the website, download the tab, the link is below in the description. And if you scroll farther down, you will find the link to the Complete Guitar Freedom course series, my, uh, my course series on my website. Or if you're a beginner, as I mentioned before, you will find Strike a Chord. Okay, you'll find the link to Strike a Chord, my seven hour ultimate beginner course. So thank you so much. This is what keeps Lick and Riff going. So uh, download the tab, enjoy this and I will see you the next arrangement or the next lesson. Bye for now, enjoy.